All right, guys, I'm here today to talk to you guys about these SLXA BMXA transmission swaps. There's a bunch of mixed controversy on the internet. As you can see here, this is the SLXA transmission. And then a Canadian built 01 Honda Civic. Um, there was a lot of mixed controversy on the forums and everything online saying that they will not work and that they will work and I was kind of leaning towards that it would work due to this guy uh, that I saw on the forums he had, he's like the only person that posted any YouTube videos about these transmissions and these cars and I'll, I'll link him below I can't remember his name right off the top of my head but I'll link him below um, but I'm gonna demonstrate that it works and show you me driving the car because I couldn't find any videos of anybody actually driving the cars with these transmissions in them. They just either showed how to put them in or told you that it worked and crunk it up and that was it. So I'm gonna demonstrate and I've cleared the codes off the dash. This is an 01 Honda Civic LX edition. Starts right up. As you can see, there's no lights besides the ABS, which I need to get that checked out, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, I've driven about 400 miles since I put this transmission in. Let's see, actually. Yeah, 403 miles since I installed this transmission and it hasn't skipped a single beat, hasn't slipped, hasn't done anything weird that I've noticed. Uh, I replaced the BMXA transmission that was in this car as it was slipping real bad, uh, had torque converter issues. Uh, it took me about nine hours to swap this in. I also did all the suspension components in the front end, all the bushings, ball joints, this and that, you know. So I'm gonna get out of this little park area I'm gonna get it up onto the road where I can go at least 55 and I'm gonna demonstrate um, how this transmission acts under a load uh, just give me a second all right put the car in reverse as you can see it's in reverse I did however have to change out the range position sensor on the side of the transmission which is down there underneath behind the passenger tire in the engine bay. I did have to change that out with the original BMXA range position sensor because it was not working. I was, I was told to do that, but I was gonna see if it worked and it did not work for me in this specific um, application. But I did, however, keep all the same exact sensors that came on this Japanese transmission. I did not take any sensors off of my old transmission and put it on this one, as I was told by the person who sold me the transmission at JDM, Florida. That's where I picked up the transmission. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on it. I would recommend them. JDM, Florida, down in Orlando. Um, but I am going to reverse out of here. Absolutely fine. No issues at all. Um, as you can see, I do not 
driving at this speed. Might need to be going a little faster than this for it to come on, but um, all that is, from what I've read on the forums, is that the torque converter in these SLXA transmissions are just a little bit smaller in the radius of them than in the BMXA transmission, and that will cause the sensors on the transmission um, to read it going at a different RPM than what it, the computer in the vehicle tells it it should be going at. And it makes the um, check engine light come on for the torque converter clutch open, I believe. Um, I'm going to try to get it to come on and then I'll read the code and show you what it says on my scanner. So I'll get back with you guys. Alright, the check engine light came on and I pulled over at this church here. I'm going to plug up my scanner. Okay, the scanner's all plugged up. Just plug it in right down there, obviously. Turn the ignition to accessory mode. Press enter. See what this thing says. One code found. This is completely normal. Every time you clear it, it will come back on for torque converter clutch circuit open, P0740. Usually, on most in most cases, this means that your torque converter is bad and that you have to either replace the transmission or the torque converter, which is very costly and is inaccurate for this transmission. The computer in the car is an American computer and the transmission is from Japan. As I explained earlier, um, about the torque converter size difference in these is just a little bit smaller than the American transmissions and it's going to throw this code but rest assured and there's nothing going wrong with your transmission and it is running absolutely fine as you can see check in and light will come on Let's hit the road then. So, just to bring the story to a close, you can swap the SLXA transmission for the BMXA transmission in the 01 to 05 Honda Civics. No issues found, um, just a check engine light, which I can live with that. I had that before with the old transmission, so it's not going to bother me any. Um, but yeah, car runs great been driving for almost 500 miles now with the slxa transmission in it i've gotten the car um over 100 miles an hour the other day i set the cruise control on the freeway at 100 miles an hour and let it sit there for like two minutes see if it did anything weird nothing strange happened just uh good old driving quality swap cheap very cheap looking all over the internet for the American transmission, the BMXA, all of them were four to a thousand dollars. I picked this transmission up for a two hundred and fifty dollars with forty thousand miles on it, and I did, however, replace all the seals on the transmission, um, the axle seals that is, um, and I replaced the rear main seal on the engine while I was had the transmission out. You may as well. It's like six. <clears throat> um, six 12 point socket bolts on the flywheel just take that off and there's your rear main seal just pop that out i do work at a honda dealership so i was able to have a lift i used a lift to do all the swapping and i did it from the bottom of the car just disconnect everything from the top jack the car up on the lift drop the sub subframe and pull the transmission out put the new one in. I put all new bushings on the subframe, all new control arms, um, control arm bushings, compliance bushings, lower ball joint, um, tie rod ends, 
and I also did the sway bar and links. Uh, they have kits of of those bushings with the control arms real cheap on eBay. They seem pretty quality to me. Uh, car drives like a dream now. It drove like absolute shit when we first bought it. Um, we had plans of doing all the suspension work and everything. We didn't know the transmission was going to go out. Um, we only put about a thousand miles on the car until the transmission started slipping real bad. Um, but... Other than that, the last thing I could add on the car is it's a great car, and I'm glad that I put this SLXA transmission in it, and I recommend that you do the same if you're thinking of doing it, because there's no harm in it. Have a good day.